Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show how to live stream from Rococo Studio into Unreal Engine in a new, flexible and straightforward way. So this way requires a new feature of Rococo Studio, which is the streaming of custom characters. And uh, in Unreal Engine, you also have to, uh, you, you have to have the latest Unreal Engine plugin from Rococo in order to have this live link support for animation subject. So I started a new project with a third person template and then uh, using the Quixel bridge, I have imported a metahuman character for this test. It's the uh, girl character, Hadley. So let me open this uh, character here. And uh, in, in some other video that I recorded some time ago, I shown how to export the metahuman character from the sequence in, in Unreal Engine into motion builder and how to, like when you have this export you have five skeletons with meshes so metahuman contains of separate body face and cloth so i i shown on a video how to merge this into one skeleton uh, and skin for these five meshes so this is a requirement in order to have it uh, to be able to import that into rococo studio so here in the preview we see that this is the character. They have almost the same proportions. The character that I've prepared for Rococo Studio is the other character, and I'm going to share this link uh, within the video uh, to download this FBX file. But basically, this is what I've exported from Sequencer. And you see that now I have one root, one skeleton with tons of these joints, and all meshes using the same uh, skeleton. So this model with the Unreal Engine 5 many pose a pose so this is what is ready to be used in rococo studio so now if we go to rococo studio and open the sample project i actually using the facial sample project uh, that comes uh, together with the studio and it contains several clips already pre-recorded like conversation so then i press this plus and browse a big files with this other character uh metahuman character and you see this girl in here in the studio. Then I drag and drop into my actor that I have in the scene, in the sample scene, and that enable the retargeting. Uh, yeah, so in order to live stream the face data, it's required to show the actor. So this is the trick. So we should go to set visibility and for actor, we should choose to be visible. Because by default, when you retarget, uh the the character the actor will be hidden and that means only character subject will be streamed so what is visible that's what will be streamed so now we have the setup with unreal engine i have this port uh, 43 and local address this is what i'm going to activate so now i have my retargeting and i also when my character is selected and go to filters and enable some Runtime filters to adjust shoulders level to shift back and forth and also spread arms if needed and uh, maybe pre-roll a little bit. So I can do some of these kind of adjustments for real-time action to have this performance uh, played. And then next step is going to be, um, so now it's streaming, right? So next step is get back to our Unreal Engine. So uh, have this character live and include these subjects. We need, first of all, this metahuman to be inserted into our project, but then we also need a live link plugin so that if we go to window uh, virtual production, we will have the plugin. But now we need to add a source from Rococo. And that means that if we go to uh, plugins and search for Rococo, it have to be installed uh, from the marketplace. And then you have to enable it for your project and restart the project. In my particular case, uh, there are some interesting new updates that are coming to a next release of marketplace plugin, and it's not available yet. So I'm going to use a version from the GitHub. So this is interesting topic that I would like to show. So in case, um, like as usual, the most recent updates are on GitHub, and then it takes some time to be 
updated on the marketplace. So if you want to use the most recent changes, you can go to our um, Rococo Studio Live Unreal Engine um, GitHub repository, and these changes merged into the master branch. So from this master branch, um, there is a sample project here that we already have our own project. So from this project, we need only plugin smart suit folder that we have to put into our project. So we should have this plugin smart suit folder as well. And then inside this plugin smart suit, so let me locate my test project that I created and I uh, put a plugin smart suit here directly into my new project uh, from GitHub repository. I downloaded it. And then what is needed here is to put the binaries, uh, binaries Win64, which is built into my version of Unreal Engine, which is 5.3. And if we go to releases and go to the latest release, as usual in the latest release, I include the binaries from the master branch. So we can download the smart suit binaries. And uh, these binaries we have to uh, unzip into this folder here to have binaries in the plugin smart suit. So these steps are needed in order to have these plugins for the pro project from GitHub repository with the latest changes. So once we have it and the plugin is enabled, we restart the project. Uh, we can go to live link, go to source, and we will have this Rococo Studio source. And I can keep this address uh, by default, which means it's a local network. And the port is also works fine for me because this is what I had in studio when I'm streaming and press on studio as the source. Set name, all this correct, and we have a Sam actor streaming as well. And this actor has two subjects. One is the body, one is the face. So we actually make it visible and streaming as well because we need a face data as well for our meta human. The face data is our kit set based and meta human supports this. So we go back to our meta human now as we have the subject streaming and we could choose for face subjects the same space. And then we need to toggle this face in order. Uh, this is content. Our input is so. The matter you name.
running on the same time and also I'm recording this video. But if we go back to studio and press play, so we will see the same action happening for our live link.